It all began for social engineering way back in 1958 at 343 South Dearborn in Chicago. You can even wander down to the South Loop to see where it all began at the historic Fisher Building. Webster's definition of a lobbyist is a tad basic. Really, it's a position that goes beyond those boundaries. And let's face it, many of the changes social engineering helped implement have made Illinois a better place. When I think of Dick Lockhart, I think of a man who has uh, dedicated his life to lobbying for a lot of small groups and not-for-profits who otherwise might not have a lobbyist. Oh, you might find a few big clients, but by and large you won't find the Fortune 500, the captains of industry and the malefactors of great wealth. You're going to find a lot of organizations that struggle to survive year to year and call on Dick Lockhart to make sure that the doors are open and the lights are on. Dick Lock Lockhart has brought a, a good name to the profession of lobbying. Oh yeah, 1958, President Eisenhower was in his seventh year at the helm and one Elvis Presley is drafted into the United States Army. Uh, we are a free, open, transparent government. And thank God for people who spend their time working with the government to bring the issues to us and to analyze the issues and help us come to some understanding. And of all of them I've ever known in all of my 42 years of public service, I never knew one better than Dick Lockhart. He's first class. And in case you didn't know, Richard was even a TV star back in the early 1960s. Here interviewing then Speaker of the Illinois House, Paul Powell, on his WTTW Channel 11 show, The Metropolitan Report. What's the most important quality needed in a Speaker of the Illinois House? Well, that's... That'd be real quick. Uh, th that means you got to have plain old guts. Thank you very much, Mr. Powell. I appreciate it very much, your time and willingness to be on this program. Richard Lockhart has had the pleasure of meeting and working with a wide variety of statesmen in the land of Lincoln. And he also came up with an insider's guide to the political scene, the Illinois Political Reporter, which was published for many years. Through the magazine that he published, uh, he was able to uh, follow, literally, hundreds of bills as they wended their way through the uh, assembly and over and under all the hurdles that were put in front of the bill. Uh, but if you wanted to know any information, historical or otherwise, about a piece of legislation, you didn't have to do a lot of research. All you had to do was track down and find and talk to Dick Lockhart. He was an amazing, amazing man and, and one that uh, everybody came to know as a friend. 1958, not a good year for Ford. They came out with the Edsel, of course later becoming a catastrophic failure for the company. You know, I used to read something called social engineering. It was the uh, capital facts of its day. I mean, that's where you really found out what was going on in Springfield. Uh, at a time when people's words meant something and handshakes meant something. And I was really honored when you made me freshman legislator of the year when I was uh, in the House and in my first year. That to me was just, just absolutely spectacular to have Dick Lockhart Notice that I was around and doing something good. Over the years, a multitude of clients have hired social engineering to fight for their cause. Here's a look at the 2008 list. When I was in Springfield, there were times when uh, legislation would be put forward to have a negative impact upon the soft drink industry. And of course, Dick was always there to uh, ask us to support his efforts to make sure that that industry was not hurt in any way. In 1958, the average salary in the United States was $4,600, and the Chicago Cubs, well, let's just say they didn't make it to the World Series. Well, Dick, the purpose of this is uh, obviously not to see me on TV, and they wouldn't let me sing, so uh, I, I want only to congratulate you on 50 very, very successful years. You have been an inspiration to many of us when we first got there that that we could learn about a lot of those subject matters that only you seem to know about. Fighting for causes is what Richard Lockhart has done in our fair state for the past five decades, but he's also fought for our country in World War II. In the fall of 2007, he was interviewed for the documentary The War, where he recollected what it was like to be a prisoner of war. But before I knew it, one of the guards had uh, picked up uh, a large either club or a large piece of the limb that had been sawed and, and began by beating me. Fortunately, he didn't hit me in the head, otherwise I'd probably still be there. 
survival, and that's what it takes in the political arena too. The thing that amazes me is how Richard has made that drive back and forth from Springfield all those years. Thrilling? <laughs> Hardly. But he has a capital determination for getting the job done right. I know that uh, when he asked us to help uh, secure his medals for his service in World War II, it was something he hadn't talked much about. He served his country in so many ways. He served our state so honorably, and he's really brought uh, great uh, honor to the profession of lobbying. Dick Lockhart, congratulations on this 50th anniversary. And on the 50th anniversary of his devotion to public service and his efforts on behalf of the people of the state of Illinois, I say thank you, Dick Lockhart. You're a great, honorable human being, and I wish you well. So, Dick, you know, congratulations on this, uh, this great anniversary. Golly knows you've earned it. You know, it's a rough and tumble business. It's a blood sport, but you managed not only to survive, you managed to thrive and still keep your gentility about you. What a guy. You're my favorite. On behalf of the people of the state of Illinois, and we wish you uh, only the best and hope that you will continue to work on behalf of not only uh, your company, but the people of the great state of Illinois. Thanks for a job well done. Thank you for giving. Thank you for caring. And above all, thank you for making a difference. In, neighbor, in my neighbor, they'd say, you the man. In closing, let's take a look at some of the great legislative victories for social engineering over the years. 